Hi guys, I'm Cole Forty here again. I'm um, going to show off my deck for the 627 Regional since everybody seems to be curious about that. Um, since Rescue Cat is pretty much now defined as the top deck along with Black Wings and Light Swarm, um, gadgets have had to change dramatically. So I'm just going to show what I'm going to play. i um, not too sure on how this is going to work, but this is the closest build that I've had with any success towards most of the meta. Side deck hasn't been tested fully, but anyway, I'm going to get started now. Two reds, two yellows, and two greens. Um, standard gadget set for me. So one cyber dragon, easy to swarm with, and it gets over a spy and guard. Three fossil dinos. Um, keeps your opponent in check for most of the game as long as you can maintain field presence with him. So he's a very good card now. Three Banisher of the Radiance. Stops Kitty from going off, stops Sangin from going off. And it maintains the presence and it also disrupts lights one to no end. So I recommend playing these if you have them. And last but not least, three Doom Calibers. Um, you can replace these with Thunder Kings for this particular build because they are interchangeable. So it's a stunner, it's a 1900 and it stops your opponent from doing stuff. All the forces go one for one. So, 16 monsters. Now we're on to the spells. Um, pretty basic here. One Smashing Ground, one Fissure, two Soul Taker, and one Vortex. Um, max out on spell and check, well, on monster destruction, just because it's so easy to control your opponent and then drop your stunner. So you smash, you play Fossil Diamond, you get a clean shot in, and you lock up their Gore's play. So now on to Traps. Um, Power Force 1. Very good card. It gets pluses, and it's useful. Torrential, another card. Um, depending on how you play the deck, it can be a very terrible minus 1 or a plus. So you have to play it for the plus. Two white spreads. A lot of people don't like this card right now, but it's added monster destruction, which this deck needs, and it protects my banishers and my false dinos. Three real oppressions. Um, when I'm not under cold wave, a very good card. It stops my opponent from doing rescue cat, summon monk, JD, dark armed. Plague spreader, good card. So no dark strike fighter either. Three bottomless. We're now officially in the three bottomless era. Almost all decks will either play three bottomless or crush card, which is the exact same thing. So this card stops most of the top decks right now from their one summon and lets you retaliate during your next turn. Three D prisons. No start hard. So it gets rid of Stardust and lets me attack and do whatever I need to do. Let's see. Two Dark Bride. I'm not too sure on this card. I mean, lets me play in my 21 traps, but the minus one can really wreck me. So I'd be cautious when playing these. So I don't want to max this out at three ever. Next up is three Psalms. Best card in the deck, in my opinion. Stops whatever play that they're going to make. And then they have to rethink their entire strategy. And then the key card behind the deck, Kunai with Chain. This card lets me equip it to my Banisher or my Fossil Dino, making it a 1700 or 21 beater, depending on the monster. And under Cold Wave, it's chainable to Cold Wave itself, so they can no longer suicide with their... Uh, big monsters like Arabellum and Cyber Dragon, and it just keeps them in check. So, I play three. Very good card in my opinion. So, look into it. So, there's the main deck. 42 cards, 21 traps, 5 spells, and 16 monsters. So, now onto the extra deck. Two Command Attack. Staple for gadgets. Always play it in two or three. Android. Gaia. Goyo. Arcanine. Two Black Rose, Armor Master, Dark Strike, Stardust, Thought Ruler, Colossal Fighter, and Red Dragon. Pretty generic extra deck. So, now the side deck on this thing hasn't been fully tested, so I can't guarantee you guys on how much you like it, but, yeah. Lung Gores, since it's not main, needs to be sided. One of the best vanilla monsters in the game, gives you a plus one. 
Thunder King Ryu, General Stunner, Control Synchros, and depending on Black Wings, I'll probably side this in. So, two legendary Jiu Jitsu Master. This card gives amazing, amazing plays. You just set it and then just watch them attack into it from the minus one. So, and it also locks their draw for the turn. Two King Tiger Wang Hu. Um, very good card against uh, Kitty Synchro. Stops that spy that they're going to bring out. Stops that card they're going to bring out. And it stops whatever other targets that they're going to bring out. And they also don't get priority with Kitty under this. So if this is face up, they summon Kitty. They can't summon Kitty and call priority because this guy nukes it. So very good card. Two Book of Moon. For Black Wings mainly, just stops their searchers. So, and stops their synchro abilities. Heavy Storm. Uh, since I don't play MST in either the main or the side, I have to play this because I usually end up playing against something really stupid. So, and then Monster Reborn. Just a good card in my opinion. I always like to have it close by. So, rip their tuner and then synchro. So, three turning Roar. I'm kind of new to this card. Just doesn't seem to fit my play style, but I'm fighting it because I hate getting OTK'd. So, one for ones with cold waves. Stops them from OTKing you, but if you don't have set backfield, you can get OTKed anyway, because you're playing gadgets. So, and last but not least, one compulse. I haven't really tested this guy yet, but it did me good at Detroit, so just bounce back there, little guy, and you're good to go. So there's the gadget deck. It'll be posted on the right on how it did. It should also be in the blog. So, depending on the general status of the region and whatnot. So, yeah, peace out, guys, and watch over there.